Hello and welcome to another little spotlight on Nuclear Craft. I'm actually I've caught up now with the latest public release, 0.0.1.2. Um, so we're having a look at that right now. This is the version that I'm in, 0.0.1.2. So everything you see in this video now is actually in the latest version, and hopefully it will be the same as that for um, all future videos. I just got behind um, on doing them. Uh, so here we go, 0.0.1.2. Uh, so the fusion reactor now has a GUI. Um, this GUI is actually changed again in the non-public re release. It's a lot bigger and there's a few more things going on. Um, but it's pretty simple. It just has fusion reactor. You can stick loads of different stuff in it. Now, I'm not exactly sure um, how this works uh, in this version. Yep, it does look like it just works like that. So um, if we just destroy it and place it down again, um, I was just unsure whether, whether I added this feature in this version or the latest uh, unpublic one. Uh, so basically, the fusion reactor work in progress uh, has energy stored and the two fuel levels. So there's two slots for fuel, as you can see down here. Um, in this version, I believe that energy and cables, uh, item uh, cables. So let's get some item ducts. Uh, item, item. Let's have a look. Let's just get some piping. I believe that they don't actually um, they don't actually connect to the fusion reactor at the moment, uh, but that has been fixed in the latest version. Um, also, at the moment, uh, you can only use single sort of piece fusion reactors. In the next unpublic release, you can start stacking them up and making bigger and bigger fusion reactors, which is pretty cool. Um, but we'll have a look at that once it's ready. Uh, so for now, you can't place pipes or energy next to it, which is definitely a problem in this version. So it's definitely sort of alpha, uh, definitely not finished. Uh, the only place you can actually attach pipes to is the bottom here, which is like the actual fusion reactor block. The rest of these are just sort of dummy blocks that get uh, placed down when you uh, place the original block. Uh, so the only place you can actually attach cables is down here, so obviously that's going to be slightly problematic. Uh, but that, as I said, that has been fixed. So there we go, that is uh, sort, of, sort of that. Uh, so inside the fusion reactor, um, there are a couple of different uh, things you can do. So the main thing about the fusion reactor, which is different from the fission, is that there are many, many, many combinations. Uh, so you have these different fuels here, you have Hydrogen, deuterium, tritium, helium-3, lithium-6, lithium-7, boron-10, and boron-11, and all of these things. I'm not sure if lithium-6, 7, 10, and 11 actually work in this version, but they definitely do in the next one. But basically what you can do is you can just put um, certain fuels in there. So for example, you could mix hydrogen with hydrogen, and those will fuse together. That creates 8,000 RF per tick. In this version, it is extremely overpowered and has definitely not been finished. This is just a sort of proof of concept, sort of a basic idea of what the fusion reactor will do. Um, there's going to be a huge number of stuff. There's going to be sort of heat, um, heat level, efficiency, neutron flux. There's going to be just tons of different things to make it really awesome and a bit more difficult to use. Um, and it's also going to be extremely expensive. Up. There's going to be, need to be a, a, a sort of initial temperature for certain reactions to start. Uh, so as you just saw there, we got some hydrogen. That hydrogen got used up pretty quickly. Um, a better reaction would be deuterium and tritium. This is sort of the one that um, in real life gets used quite a lot in the lab. Uh, so deuterium mixed with tritium produces a lot more RF per tick, and the initial temperature it starts at is a lot lower as well. So that's this is pretty much going to be the basic best uh, thing to use. So as you can see, it also gets used up a lot slower as well. Let's stick ourselves a um, couple of cables under here so that we don't have the problem of running out of energy space. Let's go and get this, where is it, resonance cell. Okay, there we go. Um, it doesn't even look like that's working. Oh, it's because um, the output's on the bottom. There we go. That's working now. Okay, so uh, that was deuterium and tritium. Um, the best reaction to go for is boron-11 and protons, which is basically just hydrogen um, nuclei. Uh, this one is really super efficient um, in real life. It has a very, very um, high efficiency. It produces less power, but it gets used up slower as well. So it's basically one of the better um, reactions to make because um, basically the reason it's so good is because it produces no neutrons. And in a fusion reactor, uh, the way you normally gather the power is from uh, manipulating the charged particles produced. So if you have a load of neutrons produced, then that power escapes, that energy escapes, and you can't use it. So you want to have as little neutrons produced as possible, and the hydrogen boron 11 reaction um, produces no neutrons, so it has a very high efficiency, but the initial temperature and speed of the reaction is also extremely slow. So 
this is if you have a lot of fusion reactors or a lot of big ones then this is usually the one you want to go for but of course you need to get yourself a lot of boron 11 and also have a steady supply of hydrogen uh, in this version um, all of these different cells have temporary recipes um, the recipe for water cells in this version um, for now is just and it probably will be the same in later versions is just right clicking on some water you get yourself a water cell uh, this is then used to uh, in the isotope separator into oxygen hydrogen obviously this this recipe is um, is definitely a sort of standard sort of uh, what's the word it's good that recipe is not going to be there forever it's a it's a recipe that's going to be removed and replaced um, so it just gets produced into oxygen hydrogen you can use that hydrogen to make uh, deuterium and tritium so it's just a way to get your hands on the different types just to sort of experiment which are the best types of fuel to use um, obviously these these fuels can be get from got from ores um, helium-4 can be gotten from uh, the helium collector here we go helium-4 was produced from last time and helium-3 can be gotten from letting letting tritium decay and the decay hasten so you can get all of them now um, the recipes will definitely change there'll be a sort of electrolyzer machine to split water into hydrogen oxygen and the different isotopes of, of hydrogen and that's pretty much uh, what was added actually um, in terms of, uh, of 0.0.1.2 uh, there was also uh, a couple of uh, bug fixes the ore dictionary was fixed again uh, ores not working in the crusher were fixed uh, a couple of a couple of different ores weren't working uh, the bug with the nuke has been fixed so you can actually see it properly um, as you saw last time uh, the wells happened um, energy and heat per tick not updating properly in the fission reactor was fixed as well and in the fusion reactor those were fixed uh, because sometimes it just went to zero RF per tick, even though it was producing power. Um, the Paxil recipe was changed, uh, and it was also called the Spaxilo now. So it's now called the Spaxilo, and it has a hoe and a sword in it now. Uh, so it can be used as a very good weapon, and also a hoe, as you saw last time, uh, or a couple times ago, a couple uh, episodes ago. And a couple recipe treats, and inverted the, uh, the redstone behavior on the fission reactor, so that it needs a redstone signal to be switched off. So it's just the opposite of what's before. It's nothing, nothing too big there. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. I've caught up now, and uh, the next version will be 0.0.1.3. And as soon as that's publicly released, or maybe um, while it's being developed, I'll uh, just before it's publicly released, I'll, I'll give you a, a video, a little teaser of what's going on and what you can expect to see in that version. So hopefully you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.